goodness. I'd forgotten today's the first day of the flower festival. These smell wonderful. Oh, no! I've lost my hat! This song we used to dance to it when we were young. Here, let me help you. Take my hat. Thank you. Are you all right? Yes, thanks to you. It was nothing. I'm just glad I could help. Cinderella, come now. The parade's about to begin. Coming, Papa. Cinderella? Bye now. Thank you again, dear. So this is little Cinderella. Well, she sure has grown up. Precious Cinderella, what might those dreams be? The same ones I've always had, Papa. To live in a great big castle and have my own horse and lots of friends. Well, some dreams do come true. Oh, I hope so from the bottom of my heart. If anyone deserves it, it's you, Cinderella. You're brave and honest. I don't know how brave I'll be with you away, Papa. Do you really have to take this trip? Yes, dear, it's terribly important. Now cheer up. I promise I'll bring you back lots of nice presents. Look up there on the bridge. It's Mother, Catherine, and Jean. Hello up there. Hello down there. Isn't this wonderful? I just love parades. Everything is so cheery. Everything's in order, sir. We can leave for the port whenever you're ready. Now be good, Patch. Woo, woo. This journey could take a long time, but I'll try to be back as soon as I can. Have a good trip, Papa, and come back safe. Don't worry about us, dear. The girls and I can take care of ourselves. I know, but don't forget, Pierre's here if you need anything. So long, and don't forget to bring back the silk I ordered. All right, Pierre. Get up! Bye! Have a safe trip! Come back soon! you terribly. I'll think about you every day. Don't forget to write me. And Patch, too. Bye-bye. We'll miss you. Bye. Poor Cinderella. Only four years ago, she lost her mother. And now her beloved father must go away, leaving her with her stepmother and stepsisters. But I promised her mother I would look out for her, and that's just what I intend to do. I have a feeling Cinderella's going to need a friend. Jean, help me get this hideous thing out of here. My pleasure. I can't wait to get my things in here. It never did make any sense, her having the biggest room all to herself while I had to share with you. What are you doing? What's going on? Don't you ever knock before barging in? Well, from now on, you will, because this room belongs to me. You can't do that. Where will I sleep? There aren't any other rooms. Yes, there is. The servant's room up in the attic. <gasps> you don't deserve to have the nicest room. And anyway, the view is spectacular from up there. You'll see. It's not fair. The decision's final. 
When your father's away, I run this household. And that means you have to answer to us, too. So you'll do everything we tell you, Cinderella. But... Right. And you'll wear this frock, too. This isn't mine. Yes, it is. It's the servant's uniform. And from now on, you'll be doing the cleaning, cooking, laundry, and anything else we want you to do. Is that clear? Wow! My doll! Quit playing, Cinderella, and get your things up to the attic. I'm sure you're going to look wonderful in your new dress, just like a real maid. <laughs> Now hurry up and move. You're blocking the hallway. Why are they being so mean to me? taking over the attic. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, little mice. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I suppose you've had this place to yourselves for a while. I hope you won't mind sharing it with me. <gasps> Misha, stop that right now. Leave him alone. Misha, I said stop. No, Misha! From now on, this room is off limits to you. <sighs> Are you all right? He's a pest. Cinderella, why aren't you at work? What are you doing up there? Come down! My food dress needs cleaning and I want to wear it tonight! And I'm hungry! Make me something! Um, I'll be right there. Sorry, I have to go now. All this ruckus. Poor Misha, is that nasty patch being mean to you? Go away, mangy beast. Cinderella, I want you out here right now. Oh, no. It's this flea-ridden mutt's fault again. He's simply impossible, and he gets hair everywhere. From now on, he doesn't set foot in my house, understand? But he's lived in this house ever since he was little. He'll be unhappy if he can't stay with me. What is this I hear? You're questioning me? I'd watch my tongue if I were you. Remember, I am the mistress of this house, and I can ask you to leave if I wish. Mother, if you throw her out, who's going to do the cleaning and laundry? And who'll cook for me? Surely you don't expect us to cook. Cinderella, please, do as she says. Be a good stepsister and take Patch outside before Mother gets really angry. Please, for us, pretty please. She is in charge while your father's away. You should do as she says. If she throws us out, where will we live? We don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, Papa, I just wish it could be how it was before. I'm sorry about this patch. I'll try to make it up to you. Hi, Pierre. Did my father ship leave? Yes, Cinderella. It left as soon as the Duke got there. They were waiting for him to make sail. Uh -huh. At your service, madam. 
What can I do for you? My daughters and I are going into town. Cinderella, clean the entire house and have supper ready for when we get back. Where to, madam? The town square to sign Jean and Catherine up for the beauty contest. They're crowning the Flower Festival princess tomorrow. But only the most distinguished, elegant beauty ever wins, so don't even think of signing up. With the two of us in the contest, no one else stands a chance. <laughs> Couldn't I go with you? No, you stay here and do your work. And remember, I want this place to be sparkling when we return. Let's go, Pierre. Be strong, Cinderella. And pay particular attention to the floors and the banisters where that dog of yours has scuffed them. They'll need polishing. Yes, ma'am, I'll do that. Oh, I almost forgot. Wash all the sheets and iron them before making our beds. And straighten up my new room. It looks like a pigsty. Pierre. What am I going to do? Papa hasn't even been gone one day. <laughs> oh. Well, at least I have you, Pat. <laughs> Over. We left her alone. I heard the entire royal family will be there. Really? Are you sure? Yes, apparently the king and queen are beginning to look for candidates to become the prince's bride. Can you imagine if the king noticed me? And just think, I could end up marrying the prince and all of my wildest dreams would come true. You two have the best chances of anyone. You're the prettiest and the most elegant in the land. And because I married the Duke, no one can ever question your noble lineage. Wow. Ah. Patch! It's nice of you to want to help me. Oh... Don't worry, I'll, I'll just brush it off. Hmm? Oh! Oh, oh! Oh, no, I can't believe this. Poor girl, she's having quite a spell of bad luck. I think she could use a helping hand, but I'll have to be discreet. <laughs> I've got it. Sure, wish we could help more. Am I dreaming? We can talk! Hey, you're right! I can too, it's amazing. It's rather unusual, but at least now we'll be able to help Cinderella. Right, let's go. Cinderella! Cinderella! Cinderella. Who's there? Who's calling me? Oh! Patch! Yes, it's us, and we're here to help. Patch, what happened? You can talk now? Yes, we all can. My name's Choo Choo. And I'm Bingo. You're sure it's not just a dream? No, it's real. I'm Pappy. Oh. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. It's our pleasure, Cinderella. Anytime you need us. You're so nice. You deserve all the help you can get. Thank you. Now just show us what else needs to be done and we'll hop to it. Mother, do you think that Cinderella will have done all of those chores? I'm sure it's not done. She's so lazy and sloppy. If she hasn't finished, she'll answer to me. You're supposed to stay outside, remember? I 
knew it. She hasn't even finished her chores. Yes, I have. Just now. It better be sparkling clean like Mother ordered. How could she do a good job if she can't even keep the dirt off her face? I did the best I could. Hmm. Oh! It's so clean. How did you do it? Everything sparkles. Cinderella, the house is very clean. I'll give you that. But I also told you to fix supper. I'm starving. Right. I'll make Father's favorite stew. We don't care what it is as long as there's plenty of it. Okay, I'll get started on it right away. Supper's never going to be ready. Mother will throw me out. They hate waiting for anything, especially Jean. We'll take care of it. Smells delicious. Is it ready? I'm waiting. No, hurry up. I'm hungry. Coming. It's almost done. Can you two add a little bit more salt and pepper, please? Sure, this stew is absolutely delicious since you spent so much time preparing it. But just in case, Misha's going to taste it first. Wow. <coughs> it's awful. It's absolutely disgusting. Ugh. It's much too salty. I can't swallow anything like this. Did you taste it first? I knew she couldn't cook. Well, you can't fool our fine taste. You try it. You'll see. I wouldn't even feed it to your mangy muck. Go on. Taste it. Poor Cinderella. I'll make that stew just right. So? Mm, it's wonderful. I've never managed to make it perfect before. What? No. I don't believe it. It is delicious. You like it? Yes, even though it's getting cold. But I don't understand. It was really awful. It's excellent. Congratulations. From now on, you'll do all the chores and the cooking. Today could have been a real disaster, but thanks to you, everything worked out. We were glad to help you, Cinderella. We had lots of fun. If you want, we'll try to help you every day. Choo-Choo's absolutely right, and besides, what are friends for? Don't worry, Cinderella. Your dreams will come true. Oh, I know, Papa. All I have to do is believe. I sure miss you.